Hi, it's Velvet here. How are you today? I am having a good day. So far so good anyway. So that's excellent and I hope you are too. But today we've got a household build for the Good vs Evil base game Let's Play and here is today's inspiration. I do go a little bit off the inspiration. Um, I add some extra rooms and that sort of thing but you know it's an inspiration not an exact science. So I am building on the Brook Bungalow lot today in Willow Creek um, and the lot that was on there before I deleted it was worth around about 91,681 simoleons and was a three bedroom, two bathroom lot. So because I am extremely forgetful and I have the memory of a goldfish, I built this lot and then realized <laughs> ah, I'd stuffed up. <laughs> so, um, I'll show you what I what I ended up doing to fix it. But yeah, I I think I ended up having like four bathrooms in this in this build <laughs> rather than two. I yeah. Oh man, <sighs> my memory is the worst. So yeah. I'm just working on the roofs here. I've got a basic shape of the house. I'm actually going to extend it off to the right side a little bit in a minute, but I'm just working on the roof, the roof situation. I'm going to lower that down a bit to make it less uh, ginormous <laughs> at the top. Oh, it gets so big sometimes. So yeah, so just evening that out and this build is actually for a family called the Still Family. Now uh, they are a mix of um, two grandparents, Yesenia and Devonte, and these are these are good Sims. <clears throat> By the way, they're not any of my evil ones. Oh, I'm just building off to the side now, um, as you can see here. So this is kind of addition to what my inspiration was. I felt like I needed a little bit more room for these guys and I had a little bit of money to play with um, 91,000 simoleons is you know that's a nice stash of stash of simoleons so you know you can do quite a bit with that so I decided to do something a little bit bigger with it and that roof took me a little while to um, those angles man <laughs> I keep on doing them and I keep on making myself have to work hard to get those roofs sorted. Uh, so it took a little while to fiddle around and, and work out how I wanted to get that roof sitting, but I got there in the end with it, I think. I think it looked alright anyway in the end, but uh, it did take quite a bit of fussing around just to work out how I wanted it to sit. But I think I'm getting better with the with these little angled, angled front, ang angled. <laughs> tripping over myself here angled fronts so with the yeah with with sitting with the um, triangle roof there and, and going for the flats on the on the angled side so that seems to work out quite nicely uh, so I'm just doing like a porch I'm actually going to do this as a covered porch because I thought that looked quite cool um, and worked out worked quite nicely with with the flow of the build so yeah, so I ended up going with a little covered covered porch and I think I did those angles pretty well, not too bad. Um but again <laughs> the covering of the of the porch wasn't quite so smooth, so that took me mm, a good a good while just to work out how I was gonna get that to sit so it was so it looked um at least semi normal, <laughs> I think. I think it turned out pretty pretty good, but yeah. It did take a quite a lot of fussing around to, to work out how to how to angle that. As you can see, sort of I'm trying to work out uh, the heights and stuff. So I'm putting in putting in the columns just 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 to make sure that that was the right height. And it looks really uneven to me. So yeah, I was fluffing around with that for quite a while just to make just, just to work out how to get that all all even. But got there in the end. Um, so yeah, so put the put the side bits on on uh, use the angle flats and then um, 
brought it around with that because normally with a with with a wraparound porch you can just use the uh, three-sided roof and flatten it and go one two three round um, but because there was that angle there in the corners just made it so much more trickier but yeah I think we got there so um, yeah anyway so the still family <clears throat> So Yesenia and Devonte, grandparents, and there was some tragedy, and Peyton and Callan, their grandchildren, had to move in with them. It was a pretty sad, pretty sad backstory, but I think the house is kind of filled with love, and and the grandparents, they well, they do the best they can. They get tired because you know kids are full of energy, and uh, they're hard to keep up with sometimes, but. Yeah, they do their best, and so this this house is a reflection um, of that family. I think it's a mix of traditional and modern. So we've got the traditional with the grandparents and the modern with the kids coming through. So yeah, um, so I'm just getting some colour on the front on the on the building. Um, so I went with in the inspiration. What what really appealed to me with the inspiration was actually that that sort of mid brown and the light brown mixing together. I really liked uh, really liked that. So that's a big part of what appealed to me about about this particular inspiration and why I wanted to do that that as a build. Um, yeah. So I'm just getting the 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 colours in right. So. Oh, it'll look better, I think, when the when the roof colour's done, uh, and just working out the columns, what columns I'm going to use. Some of the base game colours on the on the columns don't really match all that well <clears throat> um, with some of the, like the roof trims and stuff. Mm -hmm, yeah, which can be can be yeah. Well, I, I'm one of those people that would prefer it to be sort of like a matching kind of thing. <laughs> so, yeah, having having columns that were that were matched better with some of the like the roof trims and the foundations and stuff like that would be very helpful. Just you know, some of those colours and stuff aren't just quite right. Um, so I'm going with the mega. Was it the mega deluxe fencing? Mega, mega basic. One of the two. Um, just around the outside because it had that really nice mid brown. Which I was, which I was looking for, uh, that nice pop of pop of colour. It just adds a brightness to like a brown build, which I really, really liked. And uh, just putting a little balcony up the front and around the back as well. So I've got some columns that need to go around in the porch and oh, the chimney, chimney, chimney too, because there was a chimney in the inspiration build as well. So I'm going to run that down the middle of the house. Which can be a little bit tricky um, because <laughs> it took me a little while just to make sure I had it all even running down the running down the house. But luckily, I could see on the side there um, that it was all running smoothly down, or well, smoothly running running in the same in the same spot. Uh, and I'm gonna and I actually in the inspiration they had two different types of chimneys, which I thought was interesting. I usually do the same thing running running all the way across but in this particular build yeah they had like a little a little kind of round one and the, the bigger one on the side so yeah I replicated that because I thought that was quite a neat idea and as you can see I'm just getting the columns and um, around the around the wraparound porch they never seem to <laughs> sit evenly I, I maybe it's just my planning skills <laughs> which would probably be fair but yeah so just getting the the columns to sit evenly throughout <clears throat> can be can be a fun fun job uh, and I think I yeah I need to put some stairs in the back in the back there so we can get down to the backyard and uh, yeah I can't remember which I think it's just the mega oh no I went with the the stone um, the stone stone railings there and the arched door, which I thought worked really well with this particular this particular build. I think in the inspiration it might have been arched as well. I can't quite remember, but yeah, I thought I thought it looked nice with the, with the build anyway. So just getting the doors in, and I will need a door around the back balcony as well, which I think I'll fix later. And so just working out the the layout of the backyard. Uh, 
think even with having like 70,000 simoleons sitting there, oh, it's still risky, you know? You just run out of simoleons so quickly when you're building. I do anyway. Um, I just get frivolous when I see, oh, 70,000 simoleons, I can just buy whatever I like. And boom, boom, boom. Oh, whoops, I've got no money left. That's classic me. Classic. So just doing a little pathway, back pathway um, off to the side there so they can turtle off there and running that around the back um, for a little pathway to follow around the back so I can draw my garden around there as well and just drawing in the terrain terrain paint there for a free path always nice save my simoleons um, and doing the same around the pool actually so we're nice and cheap on the on the paving so save some money there so that's all right and there's a uh, obviously we've got a kids in the house so I put in the put in the monkey bars keep the kids entertained and exercise although I think once how old are they hmm once definitely a kid I think um, Callum is actually a teenager hmm so maybe he can't play on that but that's okay so just getting in a little barbecue area and tables for sitting outside family gatherings and all that and um, I'm going to start on the landscaping. I usually do that afterwards when I've um, got limited cash, but because I've got a little bit more on this build, I decided to do a little bit first. And hope that I've got enough left over to build on the inside. <laughs> so just doing the basic hydrangeas and that little um, handy flat bush, which I use all the time for all sorts of things. It just, it's got a really cool curve for it, so it's actually quite good for curved um, curved paths and just shaping around a curve, curved path, I find. Well, that's just me anyways, but um, yeah, I find that quite a handy, handy bush. I use it pretty much most builds, I think, where I do any, lands, any sort of landscaping. So just decorating around the pool a little bit. Um, so you got, you know, so I really like these sun lounges because uh, it's got that nice little table that if you change your colour it's all the matching copper, which I think is quite nice and actually worked with the colours of the, of the build as well. So just putting in a little area for the letterbox um, and starting on with the windows. So I went for a light, a light sort of mid light to mid brown um, color on the windows as well uh, just to pop pop more on the on the light brown of the walls and to go with the, the trim and the roof and the columns and the fences um, I did think about doing it like a different a different color but it just seemed a bit odd to do like a white white windows or something like that um, it just didn't yeah just didn't quite work I think I'm going a little bit darker here because uh, just again that that pop a pop of color rather than um, rather than le blending, which is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to have that contrast of color. So yeah, so I went slightly darker than what I originally thought I would do. But yeah, uh, yeah the white the white just didn't quite work with with the colors of this of this particular build because it was all sort of you know you, you're sort of deserty kind of sandy colors that you know the rich dark. Well, not, it's not not dark brown, but a mid brown and the in the lighter sandy sort of colours and that sort of thing. So, I could almost see this in Oasis Springs actually. This particular build, but hey, I did it in Willow Creek instead. <laughs> I think it still works really nicely here. So, something a little bit different, which is nice. So yes, uh, doing the windows, and so that's going to be the kitchen um, off off to the side there, and I think that's going to be a living area I think let's see how that turns out but I'm pretty sure that's a living area with the fire oh no it might be it's, it might be actually the dining area with the fireplace around the front and then into a living area okay and uh, well now we're upstairs so I'm just clearing out the clearing out the floor here and getting in the lights yay I remember the lights kind of clever so I can see what I'm doing rather than building in the dark like I more than often do <laughs> uh, yeah 
So um, I think so. What were we, what we were aiming for? It was going to be three bedrooms, two bathrooms. So let's see what I do, and then how how I fix it. <laughs> uh -huh. Ah, what a dingus, honestly. So um, I'm just mucking around with the front of the building. What am I doing there? So just uh, adding in some extra space, I think, and. Yeah, voila. Oh yeah, if it didn't change the change the height of that top one. Good spotting me. So that's oh that, yeah, that's around the back. So um I needed it was a stair issue with getting the stairs um in a place that I was happy with. So I just extended the top a little bit so I could push the stairs back a little bit and get them in the in the space that I wanted and I'm actually going to build a bathroom around the stairs uh, which I quite often do because it's just like a handy little space um, that you can't really do a lot with but a bathroom is kind of perfect there right and then we're upstairs just uh, doing a little bit of a, a half wall around the stairs for safety because you know got to be safe and I'm just working out how to do the do the rooms and make sure that they're all accessible so I'm going to have a hallway and then um, so off to the right there it's going to be a bedroom and bathroom and then what I'm working on there is another bedroom and another bathroom so you can see I've already stuffed it up because <laughs> I've got three bathrooms already there uh, genius um and then uh, there's actually going to be another bathroom and a bedroom upstairs. So there's three bedrooms, three bathrooms upstairs, one bathroom downstairs. So I'm sitting on four bedrooms, no, three bedrooms, four bathrooms. And the build is supposed to be three bedrooms, two bathrooms. So, yeah. So I'm going to have to get rid of those two extra bathrooms, but I'll show you what I do with those later. And I am currently... Um, upstairs just putting in the stone uh, around the fireplaces so there's going to be one fireplace in, the, in a bedroom and one fireplace and it's I think it's going to be dining room pretty sure it's dining room area and just getting in the doors so I'm using uh, just a plain one of the basic doors but it is uh, that mid brown so that kind of worked really well with the house and I've used the retro lux wall, wall uh, it's not paper, wall wood, 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 wood tile, wood finish. Anyway, it's wood, <laughs> retro lux, and the light brown, which is one of my favourite ones to use in the in the base game. I think it's really it's it's modern, and um, I, I like the the colour. It's good. It's got a really good tone on it. Um, so I'm just working on the bathrooms upstairs. So you see, I've got the three bathrooms upstairs, and the one downstairs <laughs> so just getting in all of the um the, the shower the sink and the toilets in there and uh i'll add in the bits and pieces as well so just getting the layouts the layouts happening so they're pretty quick to put to put together there isn't you know heaps of options to do lots of different things with bathrooms for base game builds so i tend to just kind of do do the same thing in each of the bathrooms because that kind of makes sense i think if i was putting together bathrooms in my own home uh, in that situation you know you just use the same fixtures wouldn't you I, don't know. I guess it depends so uh so we've got the one of the bedrooms here um and it's going with a brown light tan sort of theme in the darker brown uh with the curtains are just um pretty pretty basic setup but It'll do the job nicely and we're doing a darker brown flooring and then I am changing that to tiling because that is going to be the kitchen there. So that is off. Oh yeah, so that's going to be the kitchen and dining area. Okay, that's cool. That makes sense. I was I was trying to remember what I what I did there. And uh, just getting in the tiling in the bathrooms, boom boom boom, and then we've got a single bedroom there. Um, and that's just going to be, oh, that's right, it's just going to be like a, a boy's, so I think Callan's bedroom is the, is 
this one so it's kind of um, quite masculine yeah more masculine room there so that will that'll be Callan's room and uh, then this is going to be another single room which will be Peyton's yeah so I'd say I've, cha I've changed it more to blue so that's definitely going to be more Callan's room and then um, the other one is going to be Peyton's so that's the room sorted uh, I think I'm going to go for more a pink, no, lavender, lavender colour shades here. So I think that sort of suited suited her personality more, the brighter colours, even though I think she is a bit of a bit of a tomboy. She still likes the pretty things in life. Yeah. I used to be like that when I was a girl. I was, a, I was definitely a tomboy. But I did like pretty things as well. So, yeah, that is what it is. Um, okay, so just putting some bits and pieces into the hallway upstairs, uh, couch, end table, flowers, art, just pretty it up some, and I don't think there's too much else going up upstairs, that's about it, I think, just some more artwork, and yeah, downstairs we go, so yeah, so that's going to be the dining area, um, with the, with the, in the room with the fire, and that's going to flow through from the kitchen, which is uh, off to the side there. And oh, some lovely mid, mid brown dining hutches, which match, match with our theme. I'm lightening it up with the light brown carpet there. And I'm doing like a little uh, coffee area, which can be quite handy. Yeah, <laughs> quite handy in a in a dining um, in a dining room, I think. You know, after meal drinks. And I am doing the old place the items trick with the move objects, um, move objects, old, bleh, move objects cheat, and using the control nine, control zero to to lift it into the right place um, and placing the placing the item back so it sits, you know, somewhere good on the good <laughs> good somewhere some where I want it to sit basically so yeah um, and I am just working out the layout of the kitchen so I wanted to do a breakfast bar and yeah loop it round but just getting the right the right placement of it all was the tricky was the tricky part um, so it's quite a quite a large kitchen which is quite nice but I think for the grandparents with grandkids I think that worked that works really nicely because she's going to want to do a lot a lot of cooking because I'm sure the kids eat a lot and you know it's better than uh, buying buying out all the time because that could get expensive okay so we've got the oven going in and um, and the fridge now I'm not doing anything too expensive because if you look at my money situation I am down to 16,000 simoleons and I haven't even done the living area I'm um, just working on the little uh, hall sort of entrance area and I'm gonna do that um, open open again with spandrels and columns as I did with the kitchen going through the kitchen and dining and so that's just quite a nice open open flow for the downstairs area um, but yeah I still I still haven't even done landscaping either <gasps> ah, how quickly the 90,000 simoleons goes it just like boom boom disappeared okay so just getting some lights around the outside doors just so there's a bit of brightness uh, when they go outside at night if they go outside at night I mean they might not want to I don't know Oh, there's a, um, there is a sort of pergola, uh, is that the word, right word I'm looking for? Hmm, a little structure outside, uh, around the back that I end up deleting because I just run out of money. Um, if you, if you spied that, it is, it is there and it's not staying there. Because, <laughs> yeah, ran out of money again. Oopsie. So just adding some uh, decorations to the kitchen, but yeah, I am low on cash, so I'm not going to spend too much on, on decorations, unfortunately. Tis what it is, and just adding a little uh, wall space here, 
is it kind of even that out and it just um, adds that little division between the dining room and the and the kitchen and just another little seating area there so there's four little seats for the whole family and now we are working on the living area the living room TV area so that's around that side um, and I'm popping that out with a bit of the blue bright blue which is nice so it's not all just um, brown 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 adding some blue and there is a little uh, computer desk and I think um, yeah I'm gonna add a chest set as well uh, to that area and <laughs> really getting a lot of money <laughs> I haven't even done anything with the outside so ah oh dear yeah so I'm looking at um, the landscaping now so I've got 1600 simoleons to play with which is okay but still not a lot uh, for landscaping because you know all the plants end up being quite expensive particularly when you pile them pile them up like I tend to because I love a nice bright you know bushy garden full of life and vibrancy so hmm that money will not go far unfortunately but I'll do my best with it um, so I'm actually going with a blue theme for the outside because I use the pops of blue you can see my little structure out there covering the covering the table so yeah that's going to disappear um, what was I talking about Oh yeah, I went with blue on the on the landscaping because I used the pops of blue on the inside um, as a as a feature colour. So I decided to use that same feature colour outside as well, just to pop around the pop around the outside of the building. And ah, oh, I'm doing a water feature in this build. So there's going to be like a little a little pond off to the side. So I don't use a lot of water water features in in my builds, but you know every now and then you pop one in. I had a bit of space there and. It's a cheap way of filling the space because <laughs> I didn't have a lot of money for landscaping because I'm down to my last 300 simoleons, oopsie doopsies. Um, so doing a fountain and um, fountain and some plants around there and I think I might even add some duckies. I do! So there's some duckies in this build. Aww. <sighs> Cute little ducks. Okay, so that's it. Right, let's take a tour. I'm actually really happy with how this turned out, particularly considering um, we didn't have a lot of money for the landscaping, you know, we've got a pool and those beautiful flowers, and I really like the blue because I think that adds a pop of um, pop of life to the building, it's not so deserty with the, with the blue there, and we've got the pool, and um, I really like the chimney, I think that turned out quite cool with the different sizes, I'm definitely going to use that again as a technique, I think that's quite, quite different. So let's take a look inside and we can have a quick look at the changes that I made uh, in the two bathrooms that I had to eliminate <laughs> because, you know, I once again forgot what I was doing and um, put too many bathrooms in the place. Silly me. So um, I like the pop pops of blue throughout. Uh, just just adds a little bit more colour color to the build going through to the kitchen. I would love to add uh, some like blue curtains or some more colour there, but... Eh, just ran out of money so it is what it is we can do that as we go with these wonderful still family and we've got the lovely fireplace in the dining room and it's gonna be nice and cozy for winter so I really like the idea of that I think that's gonna be nice so we're gonna have a peek in here and uh, the bathroom has now turned into a study Ta -da! so yeah I actually think that ended up being being better anyway that's gonna be good for the kids for when they're doing homework and stuff so Let's take a look upstairs. So this is the master bedroom for the grandparents, Yesenia and Devonte. So it's a bit on the plain side, but we'll add more decorations as we go for them as they get a little bit more money coming in. And then we go through to Callan's room. So um, it's kind of that precipice between older teenager and young kid. So, you know, it's all sort of got some kitty kind of things going on, but he's still... Uh, in the process of growing up and I think that bedroom reflects that and so this is the bathroom that the kids are going to share um, so it's kind of in between the two their two bedrooms and then we go through to the third bedroom which is for Peyton um, and what I did with the bathroom on hers is I turned it into a walk-in closet because she's going to be a young woman soon and she's going to want more space in her closet so perfect all right well we're going to stay say goodbye to the stills 
we'll see them again in the Let's Play. And um, you can download that from the gallery, Velvet Bee, Pinterest Velvet Bee Sims, or Twitter. You can follow me there, Velvet BYT. Or you could even like, comment, or even subscribe to my channel here on uh, YouTube. I would love it. So thank you very much for watching and uh, love you. Bye.